Now in this part, part D then, we're asked to find out whether J and K are independent events. And to do something like this, what we should know is that if J and K are independent, it would follow that the probability of J intersecting with K equals the probability of J times the probability of K. This is one way of showing that they're independent. And so what I'm going to do is work out what the probability of J times the probability of K is, first of all. And uh, if we do that, we've got the probability of J then multiplied by the probability of K is going to equal, well, probability J was 0.25. So we've got 0.25 multiplied by the probability of k, which was 0.2 from part b. And if we work that out, what we get is 0.05. So when we compare this to the probability of j intersected with k, which we know is 0.15, we can see that they're not equal. So if we were just to say then that since the probability of J intersecting with K does not equal the probability of J multiplied by the probability of K, then we can say then J and K are not independent. Okay, so that's how I would go about solving that particular question.